Well guys, here it is. This is the final piece of the Chromebook Plus hardware puzzle for us here in the office. We've had seven of the eight devices. This is the final one, the Acer Chromebook Plus 514. I didn't get to spend much time with this one at the uh, the event they had in New York. So I'm super excited to have it here, but more importantly, I'm super excited that we finally have all the Chromebook Plus hardware and we can really start into that review process. But first, let's jump in the box and check this guy out. But before we get into this, uh, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. And if you're not familiar with what a VPN is, basically it's protecting your online stuff while you're out and about. So if you're at a coffee shop or you're out at some public Wi-Fi and you want to check your bank account or do something that you know you want to make sure it stays secure, a VPN is the way to go. And Nord is one of the most trusted VPN services out there. Their speeds are fantastic. It works on your Chromebook. It is an awesome service that is affordable. They're always running specials. It's something we really think that you should check out. And if you're interested in it, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash Nord, N-O-R-D, to try it out. So, like I said, this is the you know, like final piece uh, of the puzzle for us. And um, you know, when it comes to Chromebook Plus hardware, we've been talking about it a lot uh, on the website, and it's we're just in a weird spot probably for the next few weeks. So, if you're watching this, say like maybe in December, this probably won't be that big of a deal by then. Uh, but right now, we're in a spot where we've got you know all sorts of kind of overlap. So, of the eight Chromebooks that were um, brought into the fold with Chromebook Plus. Only three of them are actually brand new hardware. This is one of those three. So there's the two from Acer, the 514, 515 that are brand new hardware, and then the Asus uh, Chromebook Plus CX34. Everything else is already out there. So think about HP's offerings. They have a 15.6 inch Chromebook and an X360 14C. Both of those already existed uh, prior to Chromebook Plus. And uh, with Asus, one of theirs, the CM34, already existed prior to Chromebook Plus. Um, and then Lenovo's, both of theirs pro existed prior, so the Slim 3i and the Flex 5i. So, you know, we had some of those devices already in-house, and then we got some of the ones from the event, and then it's like we got them all together. It's like, man, we're still missing the, the Acer 514, and had I known that, I probably would have spent more time with it at the event, you know, just to kind of check it out. But as it was, like there was just a lot going on and I didn't really get to check this Chromebook out much at all. And now that we have it, we've got all of them, which is pretty sweet. Actually, before I get into that, usually when Acer sends us uh, a sleeve with the device, it means the device comes with it uh, at retail. They're nice sleeves. Like they're not mind blowingly good, but it gives you something to put your Chromebook in. It looks good. It's got a pocket up front. Um, so if you don't want to carry a backpack, you want to keep some basic things up front. You just take this with you and that would be it. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty sweet. And it would work with any other 14-ish inch um, laptop that you would want to try out with it. Let's pop this dude open. From the box, I thought maybe this thing had been used quite a bit before, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, get your general paperwork, all that good stuff. And yeah, that's what we want to see. So we'll, I'll talk about the finish on the outside of this in just a second. Uh, pretty standard standard block here, so nothing really out of the ordinary. Let's get all that out of the way and get this guy front and center. Now with their 515, they did this kind of two-tone uh, top. It's all it's all plastic. Yeah, it's all plastic. Uh, so is the 515. Uh, but but the 515 was has been rigid and feels pretty good. Uh, but it kind of has like a 45 degree angle of the two tones. So I kind of like this. This is this is pretty cool looking. Okay, yeah, this thing has definitely been used. There's some stuff on there. Somebody else has had this for a little bit. Heck, this might have been at the event. Who knows? Uh, some of that stuff could have been crap that I spilled on it. Um, so yeah, you got fan ports along the bottom. I want to say this one's a full-blown Core i3, but we'll figure that out here in just a second. But like other Chromebook Pluses, like picking it up, it's all plastic. Fit and finish just feels great. Like there's no sharp edges. Everything feels considered and put together well. So, so far, nice and rigid. Uh, reasonably light. I would call this probably three-ish pounds. Uh, good port selection, so USB Type-C, uh, full-size HDMI, USB-A, and then another C over here, Kensington headphone microphone. Uh, looks like, oh, we might get, I don't remember this one at all, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're getting some upward firing speakers here, so love to see that too. Um, yeah, this thing's gonna power right up. 
because um, it's been on before. Oh, that's right. This one is one of the, the new models with the, uh, the new uh, AMD Radeon in it. So this is the Ryzen 3. Um, so it's that 7350, 70, I don't know. Uh, I forget the, the exact model number on the processor. Same one that's in the Asus Chromebook uh, CM34. So the screen reader on Chrome OS uh, Chromebox is primarily touchscreen. So we ch check that out there. Um, and you're getting an anti glare screen here too, which is kind of nice. Uh, from the sound of that initial audio, I think the speakers are going to sound pretty good. Yeah, all plastic. Feels like they're ocean glass on the trackpad, nice and huge, set in there so it's not wobbling. Great click mechanism. I love that. You know, I'm a sucker for a good trackpad. Um, backlighting on the keyboard, 16 by 10 screen. Checking a lot of boxes right now. Let's see. Eh, not the firmest Chromebook ever, you know. There's a little give to the chassis down here. It's not awful. Um, as long as the trackpad's not clicking and it doesn't feel like it's gonna like break under the load of the Chromebook, it doesn't bother me that bad. This one's not terrible. It's not up there. It's not like slim 3i firmness or anything, but um, not bad though. It still doesn't feel bad. Um, I just wish it was a little bit more rigid there at the beginning, but no big deal there. So let me get logged in real quick. That'll give me a chance to type for a second, use the trackpad, look at the screen, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll jump back. Okay, so all logged in, all set up and all that kind of stuff. And of course, I have a couple of opinions about this device already. Uh, for one, the chassis uh, is pretty good, especially on the desk. Uh, it feels pretty firm. You can kind of tell here, I'm putting a lot of weight uh, right there. It doesn't really give as you're typing. The keyboard uh, is, Acer's just really starting to do better keyboards in general, but it's got a really great sound, a really great feel, great feedback. Uh, I like this, I like this keyboard quite a bit. And the Ocean Glass trackpad is uh, like it is on most of Acer's Chromebooks. It's just, it's good. I know it's not real glass, but it feels like glass. The click mechanism is nice and uh, quiet, uh, but it's reassuring, feels really good. Um, and the screen is pretty good. So I like the, the you know full HD, 16 by 10. I like all that kind of stuff. That's great. But it's about, uh, I, I would say 250 nits. We did a quick measurement real quick, uh, as, as fast as I could check, uh, probably about 250 nits. It's definitely not hitting that 300 nit, but it does have anti-glare on it. So that does kind of mitigate some of your brightness issues in different environments. Obviously, until you use it outside of like studio lighting, it's, it's hard to tell. But I, I, I'm not going to give a knock to the screen at this point because it still looks pretty good. It's just not super duper bright, uh, but it is touch, which is really nice. Uh, and it is the Ryzen 7320C processor. So again, same thing in the CM34, which I've been relatively impressed with uh, from a performance standpoint. And then I want to let you listen to the speakers real quick on this thing. So I've got a video of ours queued up. Um, they are upward firing and they're loud. So I'm not going to try to talk over them once they start uh, too much, but they don't have a lot of like bass or depth to them. Here's that showed up with Chrome OS 118. So yeah, it sounds kind of like I'm talking like this, um, which is unfortunate because you've got a lot of space here for speakers. It'd be nice if they took advantage. Uh, we're seeing other companies like HP really kind of step into uh, better speakers on their Chromebooks. The X360 14C really delivers a nice, a nice speaker um, package in their device. Uh, nothing's going to come close to the Dragonfly Pro. I get that, but there's room for speakers to be a little bit better. Um, and then the camera as well, you know, Acer was one of the first ones that provided the temporal noise reduction stuff that is now required to be Chromebook Plus. And, you know, this camera does a great job. Like I'm looking behind me, I'm like, this all looks really great. I'm gonna point it at Joe over there and let it adjust. And you can kind of see, it looks it looks really nice. Uh, and, and a bonus, you know, as a Chromebook Plus, all your camera stuff comes up here. So if you want to, just in your camera app, you can actually turn on your uh, lighting adjustments. You can turn on your, uh, um, or improved lighting there. You can turn on your uh, background blur and all that kind of stuff. So you can do that just in the camera if you just want to take a selfie. So it's kind of a nice add on. And that's just kind of the thing with Chromebook Plus uh, in general. We've got all these devices in now, which we're very excited about. It's awesome for us to have all those. And while we're talking about that, make sure to get subscribed if you are not so that you can see all these reviews we've got coming of all this new hardware. We've got a bunch of Chromebooks in the office. We've got a lot of work to do from a video uh, content standpoint, so a lot of stuff coming. But that is the point with Chromebook Plus, is that 
you're getting a device that is good. This one is $449. It's only at Costco um, right now, and we haven't seen any deals on it yet. We've seen deals on the five that are over at Best Buy. Um, and so hopefully this one ends up at Best Buy eventually or like Walmart and stuff like that. But right now it's, it's just at Costco. But for 450 bucks, I mean, you're getting 256 gigs of storage in this thing, a really good processor, eight gigs of RAM, a really good looking camera, loud speakers. They're not great sounding, you know, a solid keyboard, a solid trackpad, a good screen with some extra real estate. I mean, there's a lot to like here in this package. And we talked about it kind of at the break, you know, the, the outer part of this, this whole brushed looking stuff, it looks a little bit dated. Uh, but you know, at the same time, Acer and HP and Lenovo and all of them, they want to do stuff that sets them apart from, from others. So they got to try different stuff, especially if you're using plastic, you don't want an all plastic lid. That's just plain this stuff. So, uh, you know, kudos for them for, for trying out something. It, this is going to be a love it or hate it kind of situation, but it is a little grippy and it doesn't collect any fingerprints. So, I mean, there is that part of it. And I just, honestly, I don't, I don't think that looks bad. I don't, I don't mind it that much. Uh, and it feels good in the hand. It's not overly heavy. You know, you're getting that nice screen real estate. There's just, there's a lot, a lot to like here. Um, and, and in general, uh, that's just Chromebook plus, um, every one of these devices I've picked up, I'm like, I like them a lot. Now there's, there's little nitpicks I've got with each one and you'll see those all in uh, the reviews that are coming. And so uh, on that note, we're going to wrap this one up. And uh, if, if you're not already, as I said before, uh, go down there and get subscribed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a thumbs up too while you're down there and ring that notification icon if you'd like to be alerted when we do make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.